An unknown supervolcano that can devastate Europe is showing signs of awakening. Who would have thought that Germany had a supervolcano? Every 10 to 12,000 years, there's a volcano in the heart of Europe that goes boom, but let, let's kill everyone with billions of tons of magma boom, not any boom. And that would cover everything in ash from England and up to Denmark, up to northern Italy. The supervolcano that can destroy everything. It's been 12,900 years since the last eruption. The supervolcano located under the Lachen Sea, the Caldera Lake in the Eiffel Mountain Range, 15 miles from Kobeltz and 30 miles from Bonn, the old capital of West Germany. Some scientists are saying that the volcano can go any time, although there are no official alerts. They are just now for an hour watching, and seismological activity started in 2010, recently with the latest movements happening with a series of quakes ranging from 2 to 4.5 magnitude. The lake has been bubbling since that with carbon dioxide gases that comes from the magma, which is right underneath the lake. Now, this is a caldera. Magma underneath the lake reminds us what we have in Yellowstone. Maybe that's what Europe needs to get out of the uh, crisis it's in. But anyway, the uh, volcano discovery concerning La Rensee volcano has some information. No reason to think it's going to erupt soon. This is what was written in 2012. It's a supervolcano just 390 miles from London. Is it about to erupt? Suggesting that the Lachensee volcano in western Germany could erupt any time, producing a large eruption that, such as the devastation, but still moderate, not supervolcano at all, Pliny an eruption of 11,000 500 years ago, uh, 11,900 years ago, unfortunately, the Daily Mail writes is more dark fantasy than anything else. There's no scientific background to assume that an eruption in the foreseeable future could be in the making in this area. Now we'll have to go to see how many earthquakes we've had lately. We have had. Uh, basically, it's not from the border of Paris with Germany. Very close, actually. That's why it's so close to London as well. 390 miles from London. Typical eruption style, Plinian eruptions, interaction between hot magma and water, hydrothermal explosions. The La Hercie volcano eruptions, 10,900 B.C., and 9,191 BC, between that era. Last earthquakes nearby, September 14th, just a few days ago, 2019, magnitude 0 0.9, 10 kilometers depth. Tuesday, August 27th, before that, was 0 0.3 magnitude, 8.7 kilometers depth, and then 25th of August, 0 0.4, magnitude 13 kilometers depth. 14th of August, 0 0.2 magnitude 11 kilometers depth. And 14th of August, 0 0.6 magnitude 11 kilometers depth. You can see they're basically 10 to 11 kilometers depth. Small earthquakes uh, from what volcano discovery shows us. Now, to look at this, in this beautiful area, you wouldn't think it was a volcano. In actuality, the lake is used all summer long by people vacationing there, boating in the lake, swimming in the lake. Little do they know that they have a magma chamber underneath the lake. Loch and Sea, or Lake Loch in English, is a volcanic caldera lake diameter of two kilometers or one and a half miles in Rhineland, Palatinate, Germany. 
It's about 15 miles northwest of Kobitz and 37 or 23 miles, sorry, south of Bonn, closest to the town of Andernach, about five miles to the east on the Rhine River. It's in the Eiffel mountain range, part of the East Eiffel volcanic field with the larger Vulcan Eiffel. The lake was formed by a Plinian eruption about 12,900 years BC with a volcanic explosivity index of 6 VI6 on the same scale as the Pinatumbo eruption of 1991. Pinatumbo is an active stratovolcano in the Zambales Mountains, located on the tri point boundary of the Philippine provinces of Zambales, Tarlac, and Pampanga, all in central Luzon on the northern islands of Luzon. Its eruptive history was unknown to most before the pre-eruption. The lake of uh, Lachen is an oval in shape surrounded by high banks. The lava was quarried for millstone from the Roman period until the introduction of iron rollers for grinding corn. On the western side lies the Benedictine monastery of Maria Lach Abbey founded in 1093 by Henry II of Lach of the House of Luxembourg. First Count of Palatine of the Rhine, who had his castle opposite to the monastery above the eastern lakeside. The lake has no natural outlet, but is drained by a tunnel dug before 1170 and rebuilt several times since. It is named after Abbot Fulbert, Fulbert abbot from 1152 to 1177, who's believed to have built it. Now the eruption of volcanism in Germany can be traced back for millions of years due to the collision between the African plate and the Eurasian plate that has been concentrated in bursts associated with the loading and unloading of ice during glacial advances and retreats. The initial blasts of Lachen Sea, which took place in late spring or early summer, flattened trees for up to four kilometers away. The magma opened a route to the surface which erupted for about 10 hours with the plume probably reaching a height of 35 kilometers. Kilometers plume in height, can you imagine how high? 35 kilometers up, straight up, was the plume. It would have been seen for thousands of miles around, I would, have, I would imagine. Now, activity continued for several weeks or months with pyroclastic currents which covered valleys up to 10 kilometers away with sticky tephra. Tephra is a fragment of material produced by the volcanic eruption regardless of composition, fragment size, or emplacement. Now, near the crater deposits are often 50 meters and even 5 kilometers away they are still 10 meters thick. All plants and animals with a distance about 60 kilometers to the northwest and 40 kilometers southeast must have been exterminated. An estimated 6 cubic kilometers or 1.4 cubic miles of magma erupted, producing around 3.8 cubic miles of tephra. This huge Plinian eruption thus had a volcanic explosivity index of 6. Tephra deposits from the eruption dammed the Rhine River, creating a 50 square mile lake. When the dam broke, an outburst flood swept downstream, leaving deposits as far away as Bonn. The fallout has been identified in the area for more than 300,000 square kilometers stretching from central France in northern Italy and from southern Sweden to Poland, making it in an invaluable tool for chronological correlation of archaeological and paleo-environmental layers across the area. What happened after the eruption? You can also see Younger Dryas. The Younger Dryas was a return to glacial conditions which temporarily reversed the gradual climactic warming after the last glacial maximum starting receding around 20,000 BC. It's named after the indicator genus 
the Alpine Tundra wildfire Dryas octopetalia as its leaves are occasionally abundant. So, after the eruption, the wider effects of the eruption were limited, amounting to several years of cold summers and up to two decades of environmental disruption in Germany, but the lives of the local population known as the Federmesser culture were, dis were disrupted. Before the eruption, they were a sparsely distributed people who subsided by foraging and hunting using both spears and bows and arrows. And according to archaeologist Felix Reed, after the eruption of Lahansi, the area most affected by the fallout, the Thuringian Basin, occupied by the Fedemesser, appears to have been largely depopulated, whereas populations in southwest Germany and France increased. The two new cultures, the Bom of southern Scandinavia and the per per Stunian of northern Europe emerged. The cultures had a lower level of tool-making skills than the Federmesser, particularly the Bon, the Brom, who appeared to have lost bow and arrow technology. In Reed's view, the decline was a result from the disruption caused by the Loch and Sea volcano. This is not the only uh, volcano in Germany. There are many others. And I'll leave a list below for you for that. There's like another 20 volcanoes. Uh, the Bergber, Dupacher, Weyher, Hoch Acht, Mons Nor, Hoher List, Lach and Sea, we already talk about. The uh, Mons Nor erupted 10,000 years ago. The Dupacher Weir is 7,000 years ago. And the West Eiffel volcanic field erupted 7,000 years BC. And you have uh, quite a few others, but we just mentioned the ones that erupted seven to 10,000 years ago. So yes, this is the unknown supervolcano sitting in the middle of Europe, the Loch and Sea that erupted about 12.9 thousand years ago. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.